Lyft is feeling the Taylor Swift effect. The ride-hailing app saw demand for trips to stadiums soar 35% over the past year, driven in part by the pop megastar's latest tour. Those numbers came as Lyft revealed forecast-beating earnings on Tuesday. But it was a day of wild moves for the firm's stock after a huge mistake in a corporate statement. Lyft said a key metric for profit margins was set to rise by 500 basis points, only to later say there was one too many zeros in that number. It should have been 50 basis points. The stock had surged 67% on the initial number, only to then lose most of those gains following the correction. Legal experts say the firm could now face lawsuits from investors who got burned by the plunge. Still, as the chaos subsided, investors found positives in the earnings numbers. New chief executive David Risher, who took over less than a year ago, has driven aggressive restructuring. That has helped cut costs by 12%. The firm also maintained its market share despite fierce pressure from bigger rival Uber. And it's predicting it will see positive free cash flow for the first time in 2024. Risha says growth this year will be helped by new partnerships with brands including LinkedIn and Starbucks. One analyst told Reuters it all points to a company that is coming out of the woods after a tough few years. In the end, Lyft shares were up around 17% in late after-hours trade.